Hi, I'm Kim from Make Anywhere and today we're going to make a soft circuit badge like this one with multiple LEDs. You'll need some felt for the back, this is six and a half centimetres across, and some felt for the battery holder. This is three centimetres by six and a half centimetres. You'll also need a safety pin, a needle, some pins, some thread, some conductive thread, special thread that lets electricity run through it. So this will connect from your power source to your components, your LEDs and resistor. Two LEDs, we're using five millimeter green ones. A resistor, a three volt battery, this is our power source. Tools, you'll need pliers to twist the legs of your LED and resistor, some scissors and a pencil. Right, let's get making. Okay, so let's map out where everything's going to go. This is going to be your battery holder. Your battery will sit in the middle with one flap over the top and then that one tucking in. You want your battery holder to sit near the bottom. So if our battery holder sits there, we want our two LEDs. One there and one there. Our resistor will need to join our batteries on the way to the battery holder. So we're going to put our resistor there. First thing we need to do is get these prepared. So the short leg is the negative, the long leg is the positive. We're going to turn the short leg into a square and the long leg into a circle. When we look down, the negative side is a square and the positive side is a circle. This will help us to identify it when we're making our badge. Do the same with the other side. Now we have our two LEDs, let's do our resistor. Because resistors don't have polarity, it doesn't matter which way they go in your circuit, we're just going to curl the legs, both of the legs. Okay, so let's set this out again. Make sure that the two squares are facing down. Those are the two negative ends. We're gonna join these up and join it up with a resistor. Now get your pencil and do a nice dot where your two negatives are. And draw yourself a little line where your resistor is gonna go. So you know that that's where your negative is gonna go and join them up. That's going to be your first bit of stitching. Get your conductive thread and cut about 20 centimeters worth. Thread your needle. You only need to do this single, so don't pull the other one down. You're just going to have one short tail and one long tail. At the end of the long tail, do a knot. Before we start stitching, we need to cut two little holes where the LEDs are going to poke through. So the wires will be on one side and the battery holder and our actual LED, the little light part, will be sticking through the other way. Get your LED and push it through your cut. Again, remember, we're doing negative down, positive up. And now we're gonna start stitching. Go down through the negative square on the first LED and you're going to go up, down and around three times. We want it nice and strong around the component. Now do a small running stitch to join up the two negative legs. We want these stitches to be small and nice and tight, not too loose or baggy. Also, don't do them too big, just in case they get hooked on things. Again, go around the component three times. And our last row of stitching is to connect it up with the resistor. Now get your resistor. Remember, it doesn't matter which way around this goes. We're going to come up through that round circle. So up and then put that over the top. And again, stitch around this three times. Now we're done, we need to knot this off. So go under an old stitch, around and then through the loop and pull up. Nice and tight till you have a knot. Then cut. Now for the other side. 
Right, so now we're gonna go from the other side of the resistor down to the battery holder. And we're gonna go onto this part here. So remember this needs to fold into three and it's going to sit right there. So using your pin, open it up and pin it at the bottom. Now we need to get some conductive thread and we need to stitch from there. Again, we go up, down and around three times. Then we're gonna stitch, 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 stitch to the middle of this part here and do a nice big cross. Then we're gonna knot off again. And there we go. Now we need to connect the positive side up. We're gonna start on this LED, go down, up, and around, and do that three times, then over to this one. Then we're gonna stitch down, across on the yellow, and then up onto the blue part here, finishing with a cross here. So when we stick our cell battery in, the negative side will go down, this will flap over and touch the positive side, lighting up our LEDs. One of the things that we need to watch out for are these, the little bits that are left after our knots. If one that is connected to the negatives touch one, touches one that's connected to the positives, you'll get a short circuit and your lights won't work. It'll also drain your battery. So what I recommend you doing at the end is chopping all of these a little bit shorter. As you're stitching, you want to make sure that the ones that are connected to the positive never touch or cross the ones that are going to the negative. Now go through and trim these tails. Right, let's test it out. The negative side down, touching and holding that side. There we go. And they're lighting up. Now we need to stitch up our little battery holder, there and there, and then we can trim this into a point so it tucks down a little bit nicer. Now let's retest it again. And there we go. We've got one last thing to add, a safety pin. Open it up so you can check which is the pointy side and which side is all connected. That's the side that we we'll want to stitch along the top to turn this into a badge. One thing you want to watch out for is to make sure that your safety pin doesn't touch the legs of the LED or your conductive thread. Safety pins are made of metal, metal's conductive, so the electricity will run through your safety pin. And it might cause a short circuit or it might cause your LEDs to not work or your battery to run dead. Now we're done. Once you've done that and you've got your lights working and you've tested it out and debugged, now it's time to decorate with whatever you want over the top. It's gonna to hide all the stitches. Just remember to cut some small holes so that your LEDs show through. Here's some examples of ones that I've made. 
So now it's your turn. Have fun, experiment, and make something creative. And remember, use the hashtag MakeAnywhere to share it on social media. I wanna see what you get up to.